So that was Austin. Um, it was, and I didn't get to spend that much time because I was there for business, but back in San Antonio, I found this collection, and this is a very unique collection. Um, it is kind of an interesting collection because every place you have to really uh, look at certain cards. So the key to finding good cards at flea markets or um, sports card places which have magic cards, that's where I found this collection was, I didn't find it at flea market, I found it a sports collectible that was selling. So I also buy sports and autograph cards and I always ask, hey, do you have magic cards? And it used to be, oh, I forget what it's called, it's not Beckett, but blank and blank, and beginning with a B. And they had magic cards at one time, they had Pokemon cards at one time. And unfortunately someone got to the Pokemon cards, but the magic cards, uh, this they had tons of them. Because magic was extremely popular back in the day and it was carried by, before it was carried by Walmart, it was carried by stores like Radio Shack, as well as like sports card. Uh, any um, place like Dave and Adams, Dave and Adams actually sells more sports cards than they do magic cards. So I was able to find these relics, which is always nice. Uh, these were, about, again, I made a deal and this whole thing was about $10, which was okay. I mean, it wasn't like the best deal and they did well in line to look at prices, but $10, your guides are $10 themselves as a play set, so yeah. Relic, uh, more land, Miss Moon, just a bunch of just random stuff. This one probably needs to go to Princess Cube, Raven, Snow Cover, uh, Might of Oaks. There were some rare cards. It wasn't just all commons. It was a bunch of just random stuff. Cantor, um, Portal stuff. I mean, these lands go for like a dollar. More, you know, Mount Lands, more lands. They did have a lot of Portal, but unfortunately none of it is very valuable. Even like something like this, when you look at it, it's not very much, but it's like a dollar. So if you get this whole thing for $10, you're pretty much, how I look at it is, there's a lot of room for negotiation and this Exhume is actually very special. It is a reprint Exhume. I don't know what set it is from. I'm guessing it's from a, um, like a dual deck before they were called dual decks. So it is a beautiful, beautiful collection and I was able to negotiate it down to $10 and I knew the, the Gorillas, um, the Simon Spirit Guides, they're actually the apes. The apes were a lot, these were probably $10 and then definitely the relics have gone down in price. They used to be around like five, six dollars a piece. Now they're, I think they're like one to two. And I knew that the value was from here and then everything else I got would be extra. So in San Antonio, I went to a sports center um, to really pick up an autograph of Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods autographs are exceedingly low right now. Like I remember there was a time where his autograph could fetch a thousand dollars. That's no longer true, but I still like Tiger and uh, you know, He's the only golfer I really know, and I don't follow golf, I do play it. I just don't really follow it very much. And to see like his autograph go down so much in price, there's this one card center in San Antonio, and I saw a Facebook post, and they had a whole bunch of his autographs. I was like, oh man, this is like, how many times are you gonna be able to pick up four or five Tiger autographs at that price? And again, I'm not gonna tell you what price I picked it up at, some of you might feel like that's ridiculous, but again, we play this game called Magic the Gathering and some of the prices on these cards are ridiculous and they're not even autographed. So anyway, that's it. I had a great time in San Antonio. I did hit up a flea market and I will show you what I got from it. It's not as fantastic as this particular collection from the store. I got a really good deal on those Tiger Woods autographs now that I so I mean, I collect Jordan autographs, Kobe, I love Kobe Bryant. He actually went to the high school just down the road from us. Um, and I didn't know that until like he became really famous. So anyway, bye guys.